While digging through old boxes, my wife found her wedding purse. Let the kids play with it since they like pretending they're princesses and such, and they've been carrying it around excitedly like it's a great treasure. It turns out they've been using it to store pepperoni. Oh no, that purse is just gonna smell like Italy for the rest of time. No matter how much you clean that purse, it's going to smell like a pizzeria. And obviously your daughters felt it necessary to sacrifice your purse to protect their pepperoni. And for as much as I feel for y'all, I have to agree with them. Pepperoni is important and worth protecting. The six-year-old flatly refused to believe that we used to navigate using maps made out of paper. You mean like pirates? Yes, exactly like pirates, my man. And that's how you make that cool. You don't argue with the six-year-old, you just appeal to their perspective. My toddler got mad her poop came out in two pieces instead of one. She accused my husband of cutting it while she wasn't looking. Whoa, those are some serious accusations. Toddlers do not lie about poop antics. Your husband may need to seek legal counsel. This is serious. I overheard this at the grocery store. Mum let her kid pick out some ice cream. Kid chooses some sort of chocolate banana popsicle and the mum says no. Kid starts crying. Mum says, I thought you didn't like bananas. Kid immediately stops crying and says, oh yeah, and picks something else. My daughter had a complete existential breakdown one day when she found out that she was going to have to pee every day of her life. That's not true. You don't have to pee every day of your life. It's just the consequences of not peeing every day are dire. So the choice is yours. Do you want to live a life of pee or do you even want to live a life? My son kept telling me his best friend was called Joe Fish. I asked other people, did they know this child? No one did. Turns out he was called Joseph. This isn't too stupid. Every kid eventually draws on the wall. All you have to do is scold the child and they probably won't do it again. And it's a nice mushroom. You could even like put a frame around it. It's something quirky and make it seem like wall. Oh my God. No, don't do anything I say. Discard the child. If you guys are young enough, you can, you can start again. We seriously wouldn't blame you. Oh my God. No, no. Uma concha. Exatamente, põe no pote dela. Tá ótimo. Pode fechar agora e guardar o balde. Isso, muito bem. Põe o balde lá onde você achou. Isso, obrigada. My brother is crying because we're burning some wood in the fireplace. Aw, look at him have feelings and empathy. That's a good sign. He's not going to be a serial killer. He cares about the tree or he's a psychopath and he's upset that he didn't have the chance to burn the tree. There's so little context in the photo. It's basically a coin flip. I hope he's a psychopath because that would make things really interesting. Macomb County child orders $1,000 worth of Grubhub when playing on his dad's phone. A Macomb County child spent $1,000 of his parents' money Saturday night as he was playing on his dad's Grubhub app. And none of that money is refundable because all of it is food. You're not getting a nickel back. There are multiple different ways for you to reprimand this child. The way that I do it is force him to eat everything that he bought regardless of how spoiled it is by the time it's done. You bought a thousand dollars of McDonald's? Guess what we're having for dinner every night? You need to check your child into a clinic. Have that child speak to a doctor. This is demented behavior. This is deviant behavior. Who bites an apple and just doesn't finish it other than crazy people who will harm other people? <laughs> My son forever falling asleep in the most random and uncomfortable crazy ass positions. This kid has so many places he could sleep and he picks this. Multiple twin beds, futon, a queen bed, bunk beds, hell, even multiple couches. And this is the best he could come up with? Yes, because I used to be him. Between the ages of 11 and 14, I could fall asleep anywhere. There's something about turning your body into an origami crane that is so comfortable at the age of 12. I don't know what it is, but 
on everything. It was cathartic. Hello everyone on Facebook. Any tips on how to instantly remove the stamp ink all over my daughter's arms and hands? We already tried washing it with soap and water, but unfortunately nothing was removed. Thanks in advance. Oh man, that's rough. That's crazy. Um, have you tried amputation? My son bit the directional pad off the remote. Hey, before you get too upset, at least acknowledge the fact that your child was probably sitting with that remote for an hour, carefully nibbling that off, because it's recessed into the remote. That is not easy. So give him praise, show him some affection, and then you put him up for sale. My four-year-old had a meltdown this morning because she wants to move to California. We live in California. You're doing so good, you're not spilling any. Okay, now watch the step, go slow over the step. There you go, good job. Oh, we spilled a little, but that's okay. Oh, don't look at it. Oh, did you panic? It's okay, it's okay. Your sock got wet and you panicked, it's all right. <laughs> My school, when I was 11, got us to write a letter to our future selves, which they would give to us at the age of 16. Mine just said, get a job, get a house, get a life. All right, I'm in need of a babysitter. Today, my girlfriend and I went to my neighbors just down the street and left my 12 and 14 year old daughters at home. The 12 year old found the fire extinguisher and thought it was whipped cream, put it on her mouth and tried to eat it. The 14 year old didn't even bother to call us. Luckily, the 12 year old is fine, the stuff was safe. So please, can someone help me? Can someone watch my children? Cause they certainly can't watch themselves. What? Why you ate me? I didn't eat you. You did. When? When you, when you took a picture of us. Oh, that picture. Yeah, you were in my belly, but what? I didn't eat you. You just grew there. But why you just ate me? <laughs> I didn't eat you, okay? Babies grow in their mom's belly, and then the doctor took you out. But why you just me. Cause you tasted good. Well don't eat me. Okay. When I was maybe around five years old and I was sitting on my mom's lap while she was watching a movie, in the movie a couple were out on a boat and got attacked by a shark. The boyfriend was eaten by the shark and as his girlfriend sobbed helplessly I asked my mom, why is she crying? My mom explained that her boyfriend died. I replied, can't she just get a new one? Dude, when I was a kid, I was a re-gifter. Since I was too young to give my own money and couldn't go anywhere by myself to get anything, every Christmas and birthday, I would find something around the house to give to my parents. They'd ask me, where did you get this? While laughing, and I would always reply, I have a friend who got it for me. One Christmas, I decided in my infinite wisdom to give my parents something special from their fridge. Imagine unwrapping a wine bottle Christmas morning given to you by a seven-year-old who said they got it from a friend. Okay, okay, first, I'm first, I'm first, mommy. All right. <coughs> no. Why can't I put it where I want to put it? Just put it right there. That means you, that means you, I will block you. Get your foot out of the cereal box. <laughs> Sorry, mommy. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go next. Now you go next. Mommy, why do you keep taking my turn? Why can't I put it there? Because you you almost block me. <laughs> but you one. just let yourself win. <laughs> Look, I got three in a row. Yeah, I see that. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't let him touch <laughs> a washed up jellyfish. <laughs> and now he's on the floor <laughs> screaming. Just, just on hands. the ground, upset. Let me, let me burn my hands off with the jellyfish tentacles. A perfect renaissance image of a child being a child. This child has no awareness of anything that's important. There's a balloon that literally says, don't touch my shell, but she doesn't care. She just sees a cute creature and wants to touch its face. And to be honest, that's like top 10 in human behaviors. Touch things that are cute, regardless of the rules. My four-year-old made this while I slept and then said, I'm not hungry anymore. 
look, to be honest, I wouldn't expect them to be hungry for like the next two weeks. That bowl is about a month's worth of fiber and two spoonfuls is two weeks. They're not gonna be hungry for much for a while. Congratulations, in the Aylaris household, you have now placed an embargo on brownie making. How dare you cut the brownie this way? You have absolutely ruined everyone's chance at getting a reasonable portion. All because you wanted to be special, all because you wanted to be different. You wanna make brownies, you're gonna have to make them yourself. I am not going to subject myself to a few hours of hard work just so some four foot fool could cut a triangular piece of brownie. No, not me, not in my household. What are you eating? Stuff that I overheard on a school bus. You look like a water bottle under construction. <laughs> what? I don't even know how someone could resemble that. Did you know girls can't have a lot of cars? Also, they can't get a Tesla. If a girl wants a Tesla, she'll have to get a boyfriend first. Everybody knows white people can't wear white shoes and brown people can't wear brown shoes. What? Okay, the Tesla one was already strange. Who's, who's telling these children this? My five-year-old students are learning how to read. Yesterday, one of them pointed out a picture in a zoo book and said, look at this, it's a freaking elephant. I took a deep breath, then asked, what do you call it? It's a freaking elephant, it says so on the picture. And so it does, a freaking elephant. <laughs> when I was younger, I never used to lick the yogurt off of yogurt lids because I saw a documentary once and in it, there were clips of bears rooting through people's bins and in one of them, a bear found a yogurt lid and was licking the yogurt off. I would be like, this is for the bears and scoop a little extra onto the lids before I put them in the bin. Mum kept telling me bears don't live here, but I kept doing it just in case. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aylaris aka Panda Daddy and I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe fam what you doing watching videos and not subscribing and if you're old make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. Tomorrow you guys are getting a bonus video because I am feeling altruistic, I am feeling kind, I'm feeling generous. So yeah, you guys are gonna get some more wholesome content tomorrow, maybe around 3 or 4 p.m. So keep an eye out for that. And next week there's gonna be even more channel favorites dropping on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope to see you then too. And as always, I thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to S42 Sun the Guy, the Green Pasta Man, Squish, CY. Ren Hex, Project Ghost, Mr. Bean, Clifford, James Tucker, Lucas, Big Boy Bailey, Primavera, BMX30, Walinda, Ouija Baby, Cinnamon Sticks, Crush40 Legacy Gamer, Scott, Rivka, The Fake Musician, Samantha Bellhart, Zach F, Darth Titan, Keeley, Dunder Has Hawk, Knobs, Lady Laps A Lot, Swiss Patreon user Noah, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here and as always stay zesty